Find out what you do that nobody else does. Create the most extraordinary experiences that in different ways can transform people's lives. It's so crucial to find uh, your path, you know, not necessarily through, it doesn't have to be through new music, it just has to be something unique and creative. The agenda really should not be whether it's successful. The first thing should be is, do you love it? If you have an idea, you have to do it. You have to do it. You don't, you won't have the information if it works or not if you don't go out there and try it. You can't be that bad. We'll fall off the cliff, <laughs> get back on. The Perlman Music Program is an umbrella name, I guess, for various programs which are actually ongoing throughout the 12-month year. It's odd. It's different than anything else that exists out there. My life in school was not a happy life. I had trouble with every kind of learning that you can imagine. And I remember sitting in the Juliet cafeteria saying to friends of mine, gee, you know, I, I could run a school. I, I would do everything differently. I always find that there are always two ways of criticizing somebody. One way is making them feel terrible, and the other way is to making them feel as though they are participating in the process. And that's what goes on with our uh, studio classes and master classes and so on. That's the kind of philosophy that, that I use and, and the rest of the you know, great faculty that we have. But the agenda really should not be whether it's successful. The first thing should be is, do you love it? Do you have a passion for it? A lot of students sometimes, especially, you know, may, maybe we're not talking about the same thing, but uh, when it comes to careers and so on and so forth, not to be close-minded and say, I'm going to do so-and-so, and if I can't do so-and-so, I can't do anything else. So, and especially these days, you know, to be totally open-minded, this is, okay, I'm in the field of music, I'm very lucky because I'm in the field of music and there's so many opportunities. So try and figure it out, you know, try and come up with ideas. We're the only theater company, um, certainly in the States, but most likely in the world, that uh, when we were founded, uh, dedicated itself to a living writer in residence for an entire year and to explore a body of work. This is what we call the Residency One. It started one with uh, pulling together a community of people who found the idea intriguing. And then in terms of financial resources, we started very simply and with very limited resources uh, and, and just worked by putting one foot in front of the other to find ways, creative ways to de develop some financial support, but then also understand what the mission was. You begin it with a sense of mission and purpose, a passion, and a willingness to stand up and make a fool out of yourself. And to do that in a way that, that is in service to others. And ultimately, if you can combine those elements together with that passion, that whether that particular endeavor, quote unquote, succeeds, I can tell you for sure that it will fuel you as an individual and fuel the next endeavor and you will grow with it and learn from it. You'll be a better artist. You'll be a better citizen. You will contribute something to society that will be meaningful. And then we'll all be better for it. The mission started to help dancers between school and finding a job and doing a bit of research on the companies they would like to audition for and where they might find a job. It uh, started with that simple, simple mission. And uh, over the years, it's kind of morphed into many more things. And I saw
saw a need. I saw dancers needing to find work, choreographers needing dancers, and uh, I saw emerging choreographers needing to show their work and to show their work with good dancers. I think artists in general are very resourceful and they're creative brilliant minds and if there are obstacles it's all the better. They'll find a creative way around the obstacle or to work with the obstacle. That's the great thing about artists.